Denver, where this man is charged with pocketing thousands of dollars he collected for a cancer patient's treatment, pled guilty. Scott Kesterson accepted a plea agreement today in Denver District Court. Now, Melissa Garcia is live at the courthouse downtown. Now, Melissa, he avoids prison, but he has to pay back a lot of money. Dominic, in accepting the plea deal here today, Kesterson received a two-year deferred sentence. It required him to hand over a cashier's check to the patient's husband, paying back every dime he stole and then some. For Jorge De La Torre and his kids, losing wife and mother Kelly De La Torre to cancer back in 2013 was hard enough. It's still very tough to think about. Then to be cheated out of more than $12,000 in donations collected for her lymphoma treatment by who they thought was a friend is still mind-boggling to me. 52-year-old Scott Kesterson, who had originally hired Kelly as his attorney to help him start up his nonprofit, decided to start a fund for Kelly after her cancer diagnosis. He was supposed to give the money raised to her family in the event of her death, which sadly became a reality. But when Jorge tried to get it a couple months later, Kesterson disappeared. To just disappear, then I felt, well, this has gone from making a mistake, which we all do, to just being criminal. Prosecutors say he pocketed the money and used it for his own business and personal expenses. But I felt so ashamed because people who loved me wanted, took time to, to give to them. And so I felt like I had betrayed their trust. You know, I, I didn't do it, but I felt horrible. Thursday in Denver District Court, Kesterson pleaded guilty to felony theft and was ordered to pay her family the 12300 he stole plus interest. And as part of that plea deal, Kesterson also had to pay back to the court the nearly $4,000 cost to get him extradited to Colorado from Montana, where authorities had originally tracked him down and arrested him. We did reach out to Kesterson today multiple times, but those requests have gone unanswered. We're live in Denver. Melissa Garcia covering Colorado First. Melissa, thank you.